to the lifestyles of the strange and exotic. I'm probably not getting it. There we go. <laughs> Random book review. Now, I am two books into my New Year's, well, not technically New Year's, but my Goodreads challenge. And I set myself up for 60 books this year. And I did, what, 40 last year? But I kind of started, like, halfway in the year, so. <coughs> so I will admit only one of them was pretty much started on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, in the cusp. This one I read earlier and just not finished it. The second or third day of <laughs> January. I don't know, somebody stole me a Wednesday. And this book is The Devious Book for Cats, a parody. And it is by Fluffy and Bonkers, who are probably now looked down upon in catdom, having now let the humans into their secret world of pussycatness. And you kind of feel like they know that I know that they know that I know. <laughs> But they had the assistance of Joe Garden, Janet Ginsburg, Carl Pauls, Anita Serwaki, and Scott Sherman. Illustrations by Emily Flake. <laughs> now this book was so freaking hysterical. If you are a cat person, you must get this book. It, it gives you that insight into your cat as to why they stare at a blank spot in the wall and what their t favorite uh, TV shows being. That is their TV. <laughs> goes through like their their days of programming and oh, some of the jokes in there are so funny that only a cat person would appreciate so maybe you dog people might have a book you might have to sniff for it <coughs> but as cat folks we definitely deserve this one um there are some different historical references to famous pussy cats of yore and <laughs> let's see some of the chapters are reasons you meant to do that, and I kept thinking of Fozzie falling off the, the water cooler thingy, and he'd always look at you like it was your fault. Uh, let's see. Cats and arch villains. Why, you know, only kitties have v arch villains and not heroes, you know what I mean? Uh, the laws of petting, the do's and don'ts. Wake up, the different types of napping. Which only a true master can discern. Uh, famous cats of the funny pages, which I will say I have a major problem with because they did not include Hobbes from Calvin and Hobbes. How can you have a cat comic and not include Hobbes? Uh, uh. Mm, kitty litter explained. Felineism, a very important cause. The dangers of catnip. Cat fight five moves you should know. Cat talk, and we still haven't figured it out. Finally, understand what the Maneki Neko is. The good luck cat, that little thing that sits there in the chi you know Chinese shops that does this. Always wondered about that. Mm. Toying with allergy sufferers. I'd do that myself if I was a cat, actually. Mm. pros and cons of being sullen, which humans could take a few pointers of. The vacuum incident is definitely, that's probably one of the funniest parts of the book. Uh, outsmarting your toys, and that not, does not necessarily include the humans. And the nine lives of Mr. Champ. And many more besides. So, <laughs> I absolutely loved this book. Uh, of course, I have it on Kindle format, so it was on... Amazon, or is on Amazon, but I'm sure you can find it other places, so, and I highly recommend this for anybody who has ever been possessed by a cat, even though they, they probably won't want you to know their secrets. So read this with caution, and make sure your, your particular little kitty minions don't know you're reading this, because, you know, you don't know what they think you'll do with this information. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Do comment down below about your favorite cat in any comic. Hobbs is still number one. <laughs> Even though I did grow up with Garfield, nobody tops Hobbs. Uh, rate the thumbs up. Or have your human rate a thumbs up if you're a kitty watching this.
and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye.